I got a ton of traveling to do for the businesses. So you all enjoy your time with TQ. I'm out of here. Hopefully this rain gets on out of here too. We've been stuck in the house for like two days. Good morning, girls. Has been a little rainy here. Got one girl back there in the corner. Oh, we have one egg there. I have to shut the door behind me. What do you have in here for me? Oh, just two eggs. So these are what I got yesterday. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm gonna take the eggs in the house, gather the supplies I need, and uh, we'll see what I get into. First off, I wanna check and see, cause we got a lot of rain yesterday. And as you guys know, I painted the, the price on the front of the stand. So I wanted to check and see how that held up in the weather. And looking at it, I'm very pleased. It's still, holding up really nicely. By the front of it, it looks really good. So first, I don't wanna spray paint with the um, Isuzu sitting there. I don't want a chance getting it all brown. So, fingers crossed that this works. Look at all the stars out, no doubt I'm loving this time of year. Someone's got a guitar out, whoa now, this is getting kind of weird. It's like a scene from a picture frame. Girl, I swear it would be the same if you. But I like it. It looks rustic and looks like it's been sitting on the side of the road for a little while. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out right now. I'm gonna let it dry, soak in. I do have some left on this can, which super happy that both of these cans worked out well for me. And uh, the next step will have to be putting on the roof. And then I think we're done with it and then we can just set it out by the road. I'm gonna climb up here and get this tied back up. So what happened is the rope broke, so I'll get it tied down as best as I can. All right, we'll see how well that holds up. All right, I let that dry just a little while. I see at the bottom of this uh, two by four needs hit just a little bit, but Besides that, I think everything was hit and turns out great. So I'll just go ahead and touch that up. Man, the sun is bright. Beautiful. So I don't know if you remember this pile of wood here. 
this is actually our first area that we when we when we got the property this is the first area that we kind of cleaned up a little bit split some wood and everything got some odd wood here <laughs> So fast forward about 12 hours later, and yeah, the weather changed quickly. I'll tell you what, we thought winter was over. I guess not. So this is kind of the same situation as last Saturday. So nice and clear, right? Down in there though, the problem is, is there's a drain and it's plugged up. So what's happening is this is filling up. Literally, you can see the line and it's freezing off. I mean, you can see even where the water was as high as that see it all the way around that side so this has went down but it's not draining all the way and they're coming down in here whenever it could be you know halfway up three quarters of the way up and potentially getting stuck so definitely gonna just make a quick note to them just so they're aware of it and uh you know they can get it taken care of just so you know, trucks aren't backing down in there unknowingly on a, you know, sheet of ice, literally. So, we'll get her taken care of, though, and be rocking and rolling. All right, so I hammered it down here because we we sprayed it last week too and it froze back up on us. So I put a lot down here, but if you can see, the salt is literally sitting on top. It's melting very quickly. So all of that I just put down should keep this pretty solidified, I guess you could say. I use a technical word, solidify. <laughs> should keep it a, a liquid. I'll see if I can there's little wrecks everywhere on the bridges. Main roads aren't bad. I'm gonna see if I can find this drain though real quick. See if we can get it maybe unclogged. A lot of debris down in here. Not really sure where that drain exactly is. doesn't feel like a grate you know normally they'll have like a long grate going across I'll 
be honest with you, I don't feel any kind of drain. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll uh, wait and see. I wanted to do that, though. Go a little bit above and beyond just so we don't accidentally get, you know, a callback again to have to bring out another bucket, if you know what I'm saying. If we can minimize small trips like that. Which we don't mind, you know, I mean, it happens. But minimize doubling back as much as you can to uh, stay on top of things. So, yeah, not a lot of filming on this one. Uh, high school ball started back up, so this week is tryouts. So that's where TQ's at. She had to take Miley early this morning. And, uh, yeah, I think today's the last day for that. So Definitely some slick spots on the way out, but... It's kind of hit or miss here, so this whole half is nice and clear, probably from where the sun heated up the concrete, but then this half over here where the offices are definitely needs hit. So kind of what I come to, came to expect over the years, I've already ran through some of it real quick just because I know the employees will be coming out at certain points, like right here, that's a high traffic area. We'll uh, burn through this pretty quickly though. Guy over here waving blue pickup truck i saw you bud all right walk back here real quick we did take that mat off so it didn't come out it actually ripped so i'm assuming probably with the salt the dry rot all of that over you know the last i think five years we've had that mat on there maybe four uh it just kind of took its toll and yeah that's what happens i know some of you have been asking us how we like the clear lane salt when we've got to use it, we really like it. This is a great example here of how you can see it on the snow. It makes it really nice whenever you're spreading it. You know what you've hit, what you haven't hit. It's really, really nice. We like it a lot. So we're using clear lane. It's gonna burn this off super fast. Right now it says real fills like 17. Tomorrow, believe it or not, we're supposed to head back up towards the 50s. Yesterday it was in the 50s. Ohio, you're weird. So we're just putting a good layer down here just in case anybody happens to come out of the offices it doesn't look like anybody's working in here today it is the weekend but you never know so it's pretty cool when you throw this down you can instantly see it start working so this area here that i didn't back into watch you'll see it almost burn through instantly see it grab some of that snow and takes it with it As you can see where I've already just came through, I mean, it's pretty much clear. You uh, don't need to scrape off, don't need to shovel. So I got a little bit left. Let's take it, add it right back up in there.
Got some work in, now prepping a little meal here. I was craving some corn on the cob, so gonna do that with some butter, and then uh, gonna do a burger as well. So integrating a little bit of vegetables and meat into the diet. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys and girls. We'll talk to you later. Kick you out. Good job on that uh, firewood stand. Thank you. You guys did a good job too. Bye.